In order to understand how these things work, let's talk about uniform circular motion. Uniform circular motion is described as the movement of an object on a circular path at a constant speed. But it is important to know that it is still accelerating. This is due to the fact that an object in circular motion is constantly changing the direction of its velocity vector. We should also know that tangential velocity is a velocity perpendicular to the radius of the circle. You may also see it as a line tangent to the circle. That's why it's called tangential. This is Newton's first law. From this law, we can imply that the object will just follow the tangential path and just completely abandon the circular motion unless there is a net force acted on it. And in uniform circular motion, this net force is called centripetal force, which causes the centripetal acceleration, which causes all of this. Centripetal velocity is given by dividing the circumference of the circle by the time per revolution. Square the centripetal velocity and divide it by the radius of the circle, and you'll get the centripetal acceleration. For the centripetal force, it just follows the Newton's second law where F is equal to ma, which means that centripetal force is equal to m multiplied by v squared over r. Also remember that centripetal force is directed towards the center of the circle, not outwards. But why is it that when you're the actual participant of uniform circular motion, you feel like you're being pushed away from the circle? That is where frame of reference with the help of law of inertia comes in. If you're the object who's experiencing the uniform circular motion, you will have a different perspective, a different frame of reference, which causes you to feel that apparent force which seems to be pushing you away from the circle. Many people refer to this as centrifugal force. Physicists call this fictitious force because you may feel it but it's not really there. It doesn't really exist. This sensation can also be explained by the law of inertia. In the case of uniform circular motion, the object's inertia is trying its best to move along a straight line tangent to the circle. But at an instance where the centripetal force is much greater than your inertia, that desire to move along a straight line will just result to a sensation that you're being pushed away from the circle. Our knowledge about this physics concept can help us understand centrifugation. In centrifugation, a colloidal mixture like our blood is separated to its component by putting it on a test tube and rotating it in a circular motion at a very high velocity. As the fluid follows the circular motion, the particles of the components of the fluid try to move along a straight line tangent to the circle, but they will obviously fail to do so. But their centrifugal force will push them away from the circular path down to the bottom of the test tube. For the real climax of the separation, we must know that the higher the inertia of a particle, the further it will be pushed outwards by centrifugal force. In this case, we can attribute greater density for a greater inertia. So after the centrifugation, the most dense component will end up in the bottom of the test tube, followed by the less dense ones. That's it, and may remember this lesson the next time you see something in circular motion.